Hey new types, what's going on? Spencer here, and yesterday a new trailer for Nier Automata, the sequel to the very much underrated Nier for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, was released. For those of you who don't know the Nier franchise, it's supposed to be set in the Drakengard universe, and it plays a lot like Drakengard and a little bit like Kingdom Hearts with action RPG elements, what I like to call a genre mashup with text adventure and bullet hell parts. Nier Automata is said to be in a futuristic robotic world where the first Nier was more fantasy based, much how like Drakengard is. I wanted to talk to you guys about why Nier as a whole gives me hope for Square Enix. Not to say Kingdom Hearts 2.83 and Final Fantasy XV will do very well for them, but Nier reminds me of where Square originally was and the great RPGs they used to make back in the day. A lot of these series are still talked about by hardcore fans, but they seem to just be regarded as cult classics or underground sleeper hits and don't get the attention they deserve. Consequently, Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts have gained so much critical acclaim that they are being modernized and casualized for every audience. So what do you guys think? Do you think this is bad for Square that this is happening? Or do you think Square should be focusing their efforts more on endeavors such as Nier? You can check out the trailer in the description below. Also, I plan on doing a new series on this channel called Western Talk, where it's basically the same as my Japan Talk format, but I play over Western titles and talk about Western games. That should most likely be up tomorrow. Well, that's it for today. Let me know what I should tackle next. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, $5 PayPal donation, donate to our Tilt campaign, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.